Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'd first like to extend my condolences to Brian Jean, who is suffering the loss of a family member. Our thoughts are with him and his family today. For weeks, the Premier has been telling Albertans there is no more money. He has been telling Albertans that everyone will be feeling pain. He has talked about every tax increase he can think of. A health tax, a sugar tax, higher income taxes, higher fuel taxes, and higher sin taxes. He has told Albertans they are to blame for the current fiscal crisis facing the province, telling them to look in the mirror. He has asked frontline workers to pick up the slack, while managers across government have never had it so good. And now he is lining up tens of thousands of dollars to pay for a production on the evening news to talk about his campaign platform. Let's be clear, despite the Premier playing coy, an election will be called soon after the budget is dropped. They have no intention of passing the budget. The PCs are only use, going to use it as a central plank on their re-election campaign. Now it's well known the Premier's office, office offered the Wild Rose a short segment after his address. We briefly considered it. We, we, we believe we have an important message that is resonating with Albertans. The need for no tax increases, shrinking the size of government, and keeping our economy strong. But the fact of the matter is, this expense is inexcusable. While senior managers and politicians continue to enjoy the perks, and the PCs are cutting the budget from the child and youth advocate, spending this type of taxpayer money on a campaign message is wrong. And let's be clear, this has nothing to do with partisan unity. Only one of the three opposition parties were invited. This was only about insulating the Premier from criticism with these types of misguided spending priorities. Let there be no question, we will be ready to respond on Tuesday evening and tell Albertans our alternative message for the economy. We believe raising taxes during a time of uncertainty will only slow growth and hurt jobs. We believe Albertans shouldn't have to pay for the most expensive government in Canada. We believe we need to take the steps to shrink the size of government and reduce the size of upper management. We believe we need sound conservative values to guide us back to prosperity. That is the message we will be sending to Albertans on Tuesday. Thank you, and I'd be happy to take your questions. Jim, why 